Let's talk about how to pass Lloyd's video interview. What's up guys, it's Mike from Job Ready English here with another Pass the Interview video. If you want more videos to help you get hired in your new job, then make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the like and drop us a comment down below and let us know how we helped you or what videos that you'd like us to make. Also, don't forget, if you check it out in the description, you can find the Lloyd's Pass the Interview Pack, which will contain this research note and some really helpful video courses and templates to help you get those scripts written, get your practice done and get prepared for your upcoming interview. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. We're going to talk about five fast facts about Lloyd's. We're going to talk about the interview process. Then we're going to deal with the most common questions that we found based upon research from publicly available sources. And finally, we're going to be looking at a couple of other questions in a rapid fire round just to tell you how we think that you should answer these questions and what you should think about when you're writing your scripts, your answers or preparing to go to the interview in the next hour, maybe. So let's start off with five fast facts about Lloyd's. Lloyd's was founded in June 1795 and is one of the world's oldest banks and one of Britain's oldest banks. For the first 99 years after opening, Lloyd's was run from its first building, which was based in Birmingham. Lloyd's has partnered for a long time with Mental Health UK to help support charities that support people with mental health issues. Lloyd's provides their scholars with a thousand pound a year bursary to help contribute towards their studies and the costs of them. And Lloyd's has around 65,000 employees. Those are five fast facts. You can use them when answering the question, why do you want to work for Lloyd's, which you're almost definitely going to be asked. Always make sure that you do your research about the company so you can come up with a really killer answer. So let's talk about the interview format that you can expect of Lloyd's. The Lloyd's interview is actually pretty short. It's a 15 minute video interview with five questions. So the best that we could reckon is that you'd have two minutes to answer and 30 seconds to prepare with a little bit of time either side for a bit of fudging about. So two minutes you're looking if you're writing a script to do about 200 words for a script always make sure that you time yourself so if you're not sure how many words you would say a really good way to do this is basically uh, take a book off the shelf luckily i have some here and you might set a timer for 30 seconds see how many see how many words you can read out of the book do that two or three times to get a rough average and then you know roughly what your speaking speed is going to be. That's really helpful when preparing your scripts because there's no point speaking too long because your time runs out or speaking too short and then you just sit there feeling super awkward because you only spoke for a minute. Just so you know, if you have two minutes to speak, you don't have to speak for all those two minutes. So most video interview software now will just cut out dead space. So it will cut out the silence. So if you're finished and simply say, I finished, It'll be quite common for people if they've got two minutes to answer, they may answer in 90 seconds, 80 seconds, something like that. What's important is not the length of your answer, but the quality of that answer. So let's jump in and look at the most common questions asked. We picked out six, which we thought were highly likely. So these are definitely ones that you're going to write down or you can download the research note in the Lloyd's Past the Interview Prep Pack down in the description below. But these are the questions that we've come across time and time again that candidates have said in publicly available sources that they have been asked in the Lloyd's interview this year. Question number one, why do you want to work for Lloyd's? You're always going to get asked why you want to work for a company. So if you get asked why you want to work for Lloyd's, you're going to want to pick out four or five key facts. It could be their turnover, their profit, how your division is doing, their corporate social responsibility projects, awards that they've got, charities that they're supporting, recent things that have happened in the news, a company that they've acquired. There are so many different things that you can find through Google, through Lloyd's website, through their annual report, quarterly report, media press back. Now, when you're preparing for this question, it's easy to go down a rabbit hole. You really don't need to spend any longer than 15 minutes. Another thing to really think about when answering this question is that you want to make sure that you haven't just reeled off a random list of facts like Lloyd's earn seven billion dollars and they had this much profit and this much turnover and they have this many staff and these awards and blah blah blah. And it just sounds like a shopping list of facts. It's quite boring. It's going to sound boring to you. Try and find one or two facts that really resonate with you. So it could be about the fact that they support a mental health charity because your dad had mental health issues. It could be something to do with the fact that you're a 
black woman who wants to break into banking and they specifically have uh, a group that deals with black women, whatever it is, find something that emotionally means something and resonates to you. Number one, you get to fluff out the answer a little bit. And number two, it makes it a little bit more impactful when people are being personal about it. Question number two, why do you wanna do this role? So we wanna split up answering these questions into two parts. And for this, you're going to need the job description, whatever it is. And try to make sure it's a really helpful job description, which tells you what are you gonna do on a day-to-day -day basis and what skills do you need? And here's a quick tip for you. If, say, the Lloyds banking job description is not very helpful or it's a bit salesy, then just type in the job description into Google, so finance graduate, for example, and go and pick out a job description for another from another company or go and look at a really helpful website, which is prospects.ac.uk. There are loads of places to find this information because the first part, the first minute, we're going to say, well, this is what I'm going to be doing. So as a finance analyst, I would do one, two, three, four. The next part, we're gonna be talking about why we're good for the role. I'm good because I'm numerate and I'm studying towards my CFA and I'm good at teamwork and I've got good leadership skills because of this experience. So it's not the normal way that a lot of people approach this question. It's just like, well, I'm great and here's why you should hire me. That's fine, but you've not really demonstrated your knowledge about the role or anything to do with why you're going to be a good fit for the job itself. Question number three, tell me about a time when you worked in a team. So when you're dealing with competency questions and competency questions are going to make up the vast majority of the questions that you answer in interviews. So you should always have a couple of examples that you can use. We call them star stories. So these are basically good stories about you that make you look cool, right? This is something that's super important. So what you're kind of looking for is, well, do I have something from work experience because I'm applying for a job? No. Do I have something from a club or from a society or volunteering? No. Well, do I have something from my studies that I can use? Could I use something from there? Well, of course you can. But ultimately, if you can use something different than you should, it doesn't have to be related experience. So it'd be, you know, what did you do in the team? How were you a valuable member? How did you help other team members? How did you communicate? How did you make sure that the team reached their goal? So you really want to be organized around the skills for teamwork. And when thinking about, well, what should I say that's going to make me good at answering these questions? Just look up good teamwork skills and include some of those in your answer. If you're not really sure, make sure to check out the interview success secrets preparation pack or outline all of the skills that you need and like 40 sample answers will outline exactly how to answer these competency style questions. Question number four, tell us about a time when you had to meet multiple deadlines. Now, working in a bank is a high stress environment. You're gonna have sort of lots of balls in the air. Working to multiple deadlines, if you're a student, perfect. You're gonna know this really, really well because you're gonna have exams and coursework and this and that. What I would say to you is maybe pick out three or four things that you had to work towards. Remember that you've only got two minutes to answer this question. So you want, don't wanna to get too detailed and try and break down how did you stay organized? How did you multitask? How did you make sure you were effective with your time? How did you stop yourself from burning out? And just laying that out in a really simple and systematic format is gonna help you to nail answering this question. If you find you run over, take one of the things out. So this is a really good tip if you find that when you're answering a question, you actually say too much or you write too much, then just simplify, take something out because it is better for you to be able to come across confident in how you say something rather than just to say loads. So you're thinking about what you say, but how you say it isn't really particularly understandable, um, believable or influential to the person or the algorithm that's analyzing your video. Question number five, tell us about yourself. I wanna talk about this in brief, but if you wanna learn how to answer this question with a really handy worksheet, type into the YouTube search bar, tell me about yourself, Job Ready English, because I made a massive video about this and we're giving away a free worksheet where I explain to you with an example how to answer. And what you wanna say is, what am I doing right now? What have I done in the past? I.e. if you're a master's student, what do you do for your bachelor's? If you're a bachelor's student, what do you do for your A-levels? What do you wanna do in the future? This is something you can drop because you might be talking about why well, I wanna work in the finance program at Lloyd's. Work experience, extracurricular activities and volunteering, and finally skills and interests. So you kind of compact those five things 
into a personal introduction, you can really nail it. If you've not got any interview prep at all, you don't even have an interview and you're watching this video, this is a great place to start. It's a great video to start because if you can really sell yourself and answer the tell me about yourself question, it lays a fantastic foundation for the interview prep for the rest of the stuff that you're going to have to do. Question six, what are your strengths and weaknesses? You've only got two minutes to answer this question, so you really wanna pick one strength and one weak. Which strength should you pick? Pick one of the skills that the company has outlined in the job description. It doesn't really matter what skill it is, but just pick one of those skills and then give me an example, demonstrate to me why you have this skill. I'm highly enumerate because I'm studying a bachelor's in mathematics. I've got great teamwork skills because I've run the lacrosse team for the last six months. When you're talking about a weakness, I want you to change the script about this. I know a lot of people get a little bit fearful around answering this question. And what I really want you to think about is, this isn't a weakness, this is a lesson that needs to be learned. So tell me about a lesson that you've learned. Well, there was a time when I failed one of my modules. When I actually sat back and self-reflected, I realized that I hadn't prepared enough. I could have asked my tutor for more help and I'd missed a couple of the lectures. So I made sure when I resat that module, that I asked my tutor for help. I was always, uh, I was a part of a study club with the, the uh, another class that was with me and also I had loads of time to study and do the work. So weakness is really just a lesson learned. It's something that you can do to learn and get better. So finally, I wanna cover four other questions just in a really sort of like quick fire round just so you can kind of get the gist. Because these are other questions that we came up with, which I thought, huh, that's kind of interesting, or it seems to be repeating, so it's likely it can come up. What is the biggest challenge you've had to overcome? Be truthful about this. For a lot of international students, if you're watching this, it'll be coming to the UK. It could be that you broke your leg. It could be that you got depressed. But I think being truthful and saying something that really resonates with you is a massive thing. Don't try and contrive an answer or say, oh, delivering a financial report, my banking internship. Probably not. It's probably not the biggest challenge you've had to overcome. Where do you see yourself in five years? Simple, at Lloyd's slightly higher up the food chain. Manager, senior manager, whatever it is, qualified, whatever the qualification you've got to do. What skills can you bring to this role? Perfect. You've got the job description, just pick out the skills and provide a little bit of proof for each of those skills. Probably four or five skills will see you through for the two minutes that you've got to answer this question. Tell us about a time you had to deal with conflict in the workplace. Dealing with conflict, listening to the other party, empathizing with their problems, trying to come to a common solution, understanding their point of view, and ultimately putting the action in to move towards the goal that you need to achieve as a team. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I wish you the best of luck if you've got your Lloyd's video interview coming up. Don't forget, if you want some more help, check out our courses down in the description below, and I will see you soon. Bye.